All right, Lisa, this is our tuning fork session for today. I ask for the highest guidance to direct us during this session today. We ask only for the highest good and in synchronization with any contracts or agreements that have been made prior to and during this incarnation. And now we go into the higher state of consciousness. We are reminded that as spiritual beings, we are already created in the perfect state and that we are a whole. We return, we return back into the outer world where we await the arrival of the manifestation of wholeness in the form of health, prosperity, peace, and balance. We know that the only reason wholeness has not manifested is due to blockages throughout the energy body. Therefore, we ask that these tuning forks be used for the cleansing, the letting go, and undoing of old beliefs and old experiences that no longer serve Lisa at this time. We call it done, and so it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I had these crystal tuners, and they clear away any like energy that isn't conducive to our higher self. Um, so what I perform is called the energy vitality technique. The energy system of the body is subject to electrical interference which can block efforts to achieve balance. Interference must be removed to optimize the vibrational effects of the tuning forks. Removing the interference is the goal of the energy vitality technique. The technique stimulates the energy flow through the chakra system and prepares the individual for healing. You may wish to think of this as if you were an artist preparing your canvas to create your greatest masterpiece. Starting with the greatest tool you own, yourself, center yourself, clear your energy field with the intent that only neutrality and unconditional love can be present during the session. Invite divine guidance for both you and your client to begin allowing the free flow of energy to emerge as original wholeness begins to once again manifest. It's designed to facilitate the movement of chi throughout the energy body. Energy is directed up the spine from the root to the crown chakra where it makes a sacred pause before descending down the front side of the body from crown to root. And we're going to use um, the sulfagial scale. And if you're not aware of the sulfagial scale, I can read here um hold on here let me grab it i got a book here so the main system of this procedure is called um cymatics in that recalibrates the energy field of the surrounding environment so cells can rejuvenate Brain functions can return back to normal. Um, it's pretty unique. And I've had some great success with people that I've, I've done this with. Um, and um, the, the Georgian chants are sulfagial scale. And um, there's reports of people who go in these monasteries that are singing these these tones and they feel divine connections to God. And um, they feel that love and that peace. And I can't find it in here. Hold on. Oh, here we go. So the sulfagial frequencies are ancient scales part of a six-tone sequence of electromagnetic frequencies called the original sulfagial scale. 
Dr. Joseph Polio rediscovered these particular frequencies in 1974 during a wonderful experience that some of us would describe as mystical. And the six sulfigial frequencies include Oot, 396, Hertz, which is liberating guilt and fear, Ray, which is 417 Hertz, undoing situations and facilitating change, Me, 528 Hertz, transforming and miracles, DNA repair, Fa, which is 639 Hertz, is connecting slash relationships, Soul, which is 741 Hertz, with his expressions and solutions, and La, which is 852 Hertz, awakening intuition. These original sound frequencies were used in ancient Gregorian chants, including the great hymn to St. John the Baptist. Church authorities reported that St. John's hymn, along with many other chants, were lost centuries ago. The chants in their special tones were believed to impart tremendous spiritual blessings when sung in harmony during religious masses. The chants in the language of Latin, when combined, were believed to enhance the spiritual experience of its members. Many still believe that when we sing in Latin or use simple musician tones without conceptual language, conceptual language, we are able to reach deeper levels of the subconscious. Pure music is very powerful since it discards limiting thoughts forms associated with words and allows the individual to access insights beyond traditional belief systems. So we have that. Alright, let's get back to the energy vitality. So I'll use my oot fork here. I'll just tap it right here. So I'll, what what I do first is I'll check your chakras with the pendulum, with this pendulum here, and I'll see what's blocked, and then we work on all those. We go to the crown, and then. After I'm done, I will get another reading to see what's occurring with your chakras to see if they're over, if they're good. But right now, I'm going to see what's on, overactive, what's underactive, what's blocked, and then we just keep working up with these tuning forks. And they're all colored. So red is your root, orange is your sacral, yellow is your solar plex. Green is your heart. Blue is your throat. And purple is your is your third eye. And then when we do the crown, we use all of them together. And we just circulate it around your crown here to get it open up. So I'm going to do a reading. Let's see your state of chakras, Lisa. So when it swings up and down, it means it's not really working. It's blocked, so it looks like your root is blocked. Yeah, it's just swinging up and down. See your sacral. It's spinning in circles. So your sacral is open. I'm getting uh, a little bit of feisty energy with it. It's making me smile. See so your solar plex. Solar plex is good. Your heart. Your heart's open. Wow, that's really that's really spinning. You love deeply, don't you? That's what. I, yeah. Feels good. Wow, look at that. Your heart is really open. That thing's spinning like crazy. So your heart's your your seems like it's your strongest. See so your throat.
throats open. So your heart was spinning the most and all these other chakras are just kind of at base. Your third eye chakra is pretty open. In your crown. So what really seems to be blocked is your root. Crown spinning too. Alright, so we gotta just work on the root. And I'm checking it again. Yeah, the root's spinning up and down. It's really, really blocked. So we'll get that figured, figured out. Yep, just your root seems to be the problem. So after I perform a scan, <coughs> we'll start the, we'll activate the energy using this red oot fork. So I'll visualize red, red up, and that's the earth, blue down water, green across, earth nurturing energies, we'll do it again. Red up, blue down, nurturing earth energies across. And I create a triangle so the energy can work on correctly. We'll do it again. Red, blue, green, make a triangle, all right. So I'm first going to work on the root. So I put it up to my ear just to calibrate my field with yours. go up to the air the chakras go up in the air
Chakras send this loving energy to Lisa her way. May it calibrate her chakras for her higher good. So it is, so it shall be. So we got done with the root. So now I'm going to go to the ray. And I use this. I use both of these as well. So I hit these. So I build a bridge from the root to the sacral. warm in here. I usually experience heat when I do this work. So I get my body will heat up too. Ooh, I just got a picture of uh, I don't know if you feel strongly connected to Mesopotamia but um, I see the white yeah. Proto Aryan to the Sumerians. I, I'm feeling a lot of Sumerian energy working on your body. Wow, it's really strong. Yeah, I would totally look this stuff up, the Sumerian stuff. You might, you might get some energetic downloads. Oh wow, it's really strong. Princess? Yeah, the Sumerian stuff is coming in strong. Maybe a past lifetime. And then we'll do this again.
Now Egyptian energy is coming through. <laughs> wow. It's amazing when I work on people, these, these energies that come through. Alright, so now we got that done. So now we work with the solar plex here. It's called the Mi 528 Hertz. And then we do what we usually do. Atlantis energy just came through. Feels like I've I've done this many lifetimes doing this work. Makes me I can like almost feel like crying. Yeah, this is definitely working into you. I feel it. Celtic fairy energies are coming in now. Connect to a lot. I'm not surprised in this line of work. A lot of people have... So, in my working dive, I've dealt with a lot of Egyptian, Celtic, Sumerian, um, I guess the ancient Anunnaki... I have a soft spot for them. But those are like my main three. Celtic, Egyptian, and Sumerian. Pyramids. I go to green.
Okay. So now we go to blue. Blue fork. I feel like I'm starting to sweat a bit. All right, now we go to the crown or to the third eye. Beautiful. Okay, 
So then I take all these forks, take all of them. Hands are getting sweaty. Alright, so that's what that's the energy vitality technique. And then the next tuning forks I'm gonna use are the Fibonacci tuners. And I can, I'll, I'll explain to you what those are. But let me first check your chakras and see what we got here. Root spinning now. Really nice. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. It's amazing what these pendulums pick up. Sacro is nice. Solar plex is really spinning now. See how everything's spinning way more. Your heart is like really. That's fast. Uh, third eye is good. Crown's good. Thing is good. Suck your shoulders. So these Fibonacci tuners will help like with your uh, outside fields. Everything looks pretty good now. Okay, so now we'll do Fibonacci sequence. So about the Fibonacci tuners. Fibonacci tuners are part of a continuum sound that spirals in and out of different realities. Imagine children walking on the beach picking up the seashells and putting them to their ears. The sound inside the seashells is the same as the sound created by all the Fibonacci tuners. So we have a 1-1 one, one interval. The beginning form with everything originates and returns. Um, one slash two is space, an octave in music which opens space for all possibilities. Benefits opens new spaces, balances either element, helps with grief and loss. Uh, two slash three is balance. A perfect fifth in music works with the pituitary gland and auto 
autonomic nervous system to create an ideal balance between heaven and earth, yin and yang, male and female energies. And this increases feelings of well-being, balance, male and female energies, great for centering. 3 slash 5 is dreams. The interval of the 6 in music, which is called the mystic fire, is the beginning of the ascent of consciousness known as a region of thousand lights. Enhanced dreaming, visualization, and new ideas, astral projection. 5 slash 8 is inner voice. Leads consciousness deep into the third ventricle of the brain called the cave of Brahma, where we make contact with our inner voice of wisdom and healing. Contact our healer within. Find helpful information. Obtain wisdom and peace. Let go of unwanted thoughts. 8 slash 13 is the mystical passageway, sometimes called the crystal door or magic mirror. The 813 interview takes us to the source of our inner voice, which appears beyond words as pure sound and light. Resolution of light's distance through a clear tone, clarity of vision through alignment with source, a deep sense of simplicity. 13 slash 21 is the gateway. The gateway between the higher spiritual realities and the dreaming realms Lifting our consciousness across what seems like an impossible leap. The benefits is entry into higher states of knowledge, spiritual wisdom, direct communication with light beings, divas, and angels. And then 21 slash 34 is the eye of God. Opens the pineal gland which oversees all dualities and be begins yet another turn of the spiritual of Jacob's ladder into greater spiritual insights and learning. Great inner truth and revealed and understood, higher spiritual realms are illuminated and simplicity of the complex complexity of reality is revealed. So that's the Fibonacci intervals. So we're going to start with the 1-1. One, one. I kind of just brush your field with it. And we go to two, one. Both of the meridians too.
Alright?
All right, and then the last step, we take all of them. This one's a little hard to do. So many of them. I just brush. And I cross off the X, complete the session. All right, and then at the end of the session, I just say, may this work, may this energy work, keep working with you, and let the healing help you in any way it needs to and let your higher self and your guides help in this energetic session that we did today and, um, and at the end I just hit these crystal tuners to disconnect everything may this work help you with your higher self so it is so it shall be Alright, that wraps up our session. Hope you find you find it beneficial and uh, your root should be open up opening up and bringing in the energy. Thank you Lisa for giving me the opportunity to work on you. It's been a pleasure. I really felt the energies, especially the Sumerians. And the some of the Egyptian energy came up too. So uh, if you want to look look into that, you might you might find some interesting things. And you might be connected to. Alright, thank you very much and have a nice day.